Well, brand new questions for the Justice Department and the White House this afternoon in connection with the botched Fast and Furious gun running sting. A House committee following through with its promise and issuing a new subpoena today to Attorney General Eric Holder and other high ranking DOJ officials. That's where we begin this brand new hour of America Live. Welcome, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. Congress demanding to know what they knew and when they knew it. Wanting to know more information about the ATF operation that armed some of Mexico's most dangerous criminals. The subpoena seeks tens of thousands of new documents, as well as all communications that the DOJ had with the White House on this topic. William Lajeunesse following this live in Los Angeles. William? Well, Megan, the implications are big. The subpoena goes to the substance of the investigation, but it escalates the political battle with the top Democrat on the committee that issued this subpoena calling this a Republican abuse of power and a fishing expedition. It also heightens the congressional fight with the Obama administration, which many lawmakers say has stonewalled this investigation for months. So today's subpoena asks for all communications sent and received from 16 top justice officials, including the Attorney General Eric Holder. It also seeks any, seeks any communication between the department and the executive office of the president related to this operation. Analysts say the White House could invoke executive privilege, and it seeks, as it seeks, to protect what the president knew when he told reporters in March this year that neither he nor Holder authorized Fast and Furious. Investigators believe not only did the White House know about it, officials there met secretly with the man in charge of Fast and Furious, Bill Newell, in a back channel meeting in December of 2009 when this started. The Oversight Committee also wants any communication with the State Department and the Embassy in Mexico. Our agents there say they were never told that the ATF was flooding Mexico with weapons, something the ATF claims it did. This data could substantiate a cover-up and perjury charges. The subpoena also demands documents related to one of the most explosive allegations in the case, that FBI and DEA informants helped provide the money to buy the guns that the ATF was tracking and never told them. Finally, it seeks FBI lab and field reports in the Brian Terry murder case and that of ICE agent Jaime Zapata. You know, there are also some key dates in this, Megan. For instance, when the U.S. Attorney's Office assured the owner of the Lone Wolf gun store, we are stopping all the weapons as soon as they leave your store, when documents show that was not true. The subpoena wants to know what was being said internally at the U.S. Attorney's Office at the time, when they were telling the gun store owner one thing, but they were doing another. Back to you. William, thank you. Well, as William just mentioned, the House Committee's ranking Democrat, Congressman Elijah Cummins, blasted the subpoenas, saying, quote, This subpoena is a deep-sea fishing expedition and a gross abuse of the committee's authority. It demands tens of thousands of pages of highly sensitive law enforcement and national security materials that have never been requested before and are completely unrelated to Operation Fast and Furious. Rather than legitimate fact-gathering, this looks more like a political stunt. We'll bring you new developments on this as they happen.